Hey guys, and welcome to your um, 2022 prediction readings uh, for Aquarius. Uh, this is going to be in Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So we're going to take a look at what you could expect, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know in the areas of career, money, um, love, personal, and spiritual growth here. So um, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. If this message doesn't resonate, uh, take a look at your other placements, okay? Um, so I'm going to pull an oracle card for each topic. Um, so we're going to go career, love, and then spiritual growth and personal growth here. Um, and I'm going to timestamp uh, the categories in the comment section below so that you guys could jump around. Um, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in taking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box. Alright Aquarius, so let's get started. We're going to start with career here. We're going to pull for, uh, one card from the Moonology deck. What messages do we have? And then, we'll, like I said, we'll clarify each category with the tarot. What messages do we have for uh, Aquarius regarding their career and money? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What does um, Aquarius need to know? What can Aquarius expect regarding their career and money for 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Okay, a time to give rather than take. Your hard work is paying off on the bottom of the deck. You know, I feel like if you're in a work situation right now, I feel like, you know, you're probably in this energy of really looking out for yourself because, you know, believe it or not, a lot of work environments are very toxic here. I feel like whatever you do, you're really successful in. Yeah, so a time to give rather than take. I feel like maybe there is maybe a shift here that you have to look deep down within to see uh, what is it that you need to change regarding your work life here, you know, about yourself and how you deal with others. You know, maybe you're going to take this time and really, you know, try and give back and help others. Perhaps you could uh, look into starting a business that does something like that. Uh, but whatever you're, you're doing here, hard work is paying off. Seems like things are going pretty well. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, you could have any of those energies in your chart. You could be dealing with someone in and around you regard, uh, with those energies. What else do we have for um, um, Aquarius here regarding uh, their career in the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? What does um, Aquarius need to know? What can Aquarius expect regarding their career and money? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs here for Aquarius. Wow. Ten of Cups and a Tower here. Seems like things are pretty stable with your, where you're at. Seems like you're pretty fulfilled and happy, but I feel like there's... Maybe there's a yearning for change. You're looking for a big, 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 big change here. It seems like you reached where you have to be in regards to your career here and your money. Um, if you're, you know, happily paired up, you know, you have a family here, you know, things are going really well. Um, what else do we have here for uh, Aquarius regarding their money and their career? We have the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy and the Six of Wands. Yeah, whatever this is, that you're really, really successful here. I feel like, you know, with the Hierophant, you know, the higher-ups are really noticing this. 
But like I said, it may, maybe you're looking or yearning for a change here or that, you know, things are starting to become stagnant. Um, two of Swords and Temperance. So I feel like you're trying to decide what to do here. I feel like it's, um, I feel like you're looking to really shake things up here. It's nice to have that peace and balance here regarding your career, your money. But I feel like you're looking for something more. Yeah, you're looking for something more. Maybe you're online uh, looking for new opportunities. Yeah, maybe you're um, trying to start something new. Maybe you're trying to network here. Uh, but there is this yearning for this big change here, I feel, regarding your career and your money because we do have that tower there. Uh, so we have a Sagittarius, um, a Taurus, uh, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Virgo. Like I said, you could have any of those energies in your chart or that you could be uh, dealing with someone in and around you that has those energies. All right, let's move on to love. So we're going to pull a Moonology, uh, not a Moonology, um, a Romance Angel card for this one. All right, what messages do we have for Aquarius for regarding love for 2022? What can Aquarius expect? What is surrounding Aquarius regarding love? for 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You might be seeking a higher purpose here too with the Hierophant and the, and the Temperance card being here regarding your career and your money. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment. So this is telling me that you could, some of you guys are single here, or most of you guys are single here. On the bottom of the deck, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So I feel like this is like a nine of pentacles energy. This is a singles energy. This is an energy where you're looking out, for, like I said, you're looking out for, you know, I, I think that's what I started here. You're looking out for yourself at this point. You're looking out for yourself. You're taking care of yourself. Um, you know, in 2022, I feel like you might meet your past life soulmate here. This is on top of the deck, past life relationship. Uh, you have known each other before. This could be an ex too. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Maybe someone from your past is coming back. Um, let's see, what else do we have here for Aquarius regarding love for 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What does Aquarius need to know? What can Aquarius expect for regarding love here for 2022? You have the Three of Swords and the Star. Okay, so I'm feeling like you guys are single. You guys are healing from a heartbreak here. So this is something that might be recent. And for the rest of 2022, you might be healing from this. So maybe you separated from a past life soulmate. That's you right there, Aquarius. You could be dealing with another Aquarius. Or we're dealing with another Aquarius. You have the King of Wands here and the Page of Cups. Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is telling me that maybe someone here is not really over their ex too. Maybe someone here is waiting for someone to communicate or waiting for an apology here. Feels like someone here is waiting for closure. With the King of Cups in the full. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, energy. Also could be Aquarius here. You know, whatever you were going through here uh, in regards to the past person, it was super, super, super heavy. Because moving forward, I feel like you're going to be light as a feather here. You're going to be footloose, fancy free and really enjoying your freedom here, uh, being on your own and continuing on this path and this growth uh, of uh, healing here. Um, yeah, there's this energy of taking a step back. Um, I don't feel like you're going to be dating or meeting new people. I just really feel like you're just going to be focusing on your happiness here. And I feel like the more that you focus on your happiness here, I do feel like that's when maybe your person will come in. You know, it could be a new person. Yeah, I'm getting X all over this. Reconciliation. 
yeah, past life relationship. You might have known this person. So we have someone here. Perhaps you're not over somebody or that, you know, uh, your ex is not over you. But I do feel like keep an open mind and see what's out there. Because whatever I'm feeling like, there was this really, really heavy energy. And I just feel like, you know, you're in this energy of right now enjoying your independence and your free freedom and feeling light as a feather here. Um, really taking a step back and just releasing control and just kind of going with it, with the hangman. Piscean energy could be dealing with the Pisces here. Or that you might have Pisces in your chart. Uh, moving on to personal and spiritual growth. So we're going to pull a card from the uh, Mantra Healing deck. What messages do we have for um, Aquarius here regarding their personal and spiritual growth? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What can... Um, Aquarius is what? What does Aquarius need to know? What is surrounding Aquarius regarding their uh, personal and spiritual growth here? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Aquarius here. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Aquarius and Jupiter signs. Uncovering confidence. Seems like you're rebuilding your confidence. Meow. Yeah. I am missing, I am the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe. So I feel like there, I feel like you're trying to rebuild yourself here. I feel like you're trying to put yourself back together. So I feel like um, Aquarius, for some of you guys, I feel like you guys had a really, 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 really hard um, 2021. A really hard 2021 yeah so i feel like um you know you guys could have been in this energy of yeah going through a lot of trauma rewiring the nervous system i find strength in surviving my traumas here so i feel like you're surviving through some pain that you went through and i feel like this pain has really maybe affected all areas of your life and made you reevaluate your life here um because it seems like you're on this like spiritual path uh regarding your uh regarding your work and your career here i mean this could be inner work here for yourself too so this is looking really 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 good what else do we have here for uh, aquarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter signs for 2022 what do we have here for aquarius regarding their personal and spiritual growth Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We have the Eight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. We have every single king that has been pulled out here. Almost. We're missing the King of Swords. You know... You know, I feel like in 2022, I feel like you're no longer running from your pain here. Yeah, you're no longer running from your pain. I feel like you're trying to face it here. Let's see what else we have here. The magician and the hermit. There's this energy of, you know, I feel like there's this energy of having what it takes to really go within and dig deep and really heal those traumas and those wounds here. Because we do have this three of swords here. Yeah, this could be in regards to, you know, um, past relationships, you know, relationships with family, friends or something like that. Um... Because I feel like someone uh, someone's inner child has not been healed yet. We have the Five of Swords in Judgment. Yeah, I feel like someone here is facing their um, traumas. Facing their traumas and uh, really, um, you know, I feel like this has resurfaced a few times. I feel like this is your time and that you're taking the initiative to really heal these traumas that you've um, been through here. I feel like it's it's childhood traumas. But like I said, it doesn't have to be that. It could be, you know, it could be that on top of that with, you know, all the stuff that you've been through with other people. So I feel like you are being called to face your traumas. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of healing energy here with all these healing cards. Okay. 
So yeah, polishing my heart. Feeling is a power to help. Feeling is a power that helps me heal. So I feel like you're just going with the flow and feeling now. I feel like you're feeling your feelings and really trying to uh, find strength to heal your traumas. Yeah. All right, so Aquarius, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.